Oh, TMCC <clears throat> students of Art 101, Drawing 1. This is another video I'm making about our final project, which is oil pastel and black ink resist drawings. Now, we're using oil pastels. Oh, by the way, you can also use crayons. Remember those? They work, too, because they're wax. Wax and oil pastels, wax crayons and oil pastels, both resist water. And because the ink or the watercolor, I'm using black watercolor, you can also use um, non-waterproof black ink in the little um, containers that we got earlier for ink wash. So it has to be non-waterproof. The waterproof does not work well. With the watercolor, it's got to be washable watercolor. But you want black ink, non-waterproof or washable watercolor. Even though we're using color today, it's really not about color. It's about design. And so basically, you want to have a design. A good way to do it is to draw on the watercolor paper that you have in your packets, which is four pieces. And it's kind of rough and thick. It's really good for absorbent and for doing water-based medium. So what I'm doing is I did a uh, graphite design on this. So graphite is good because, of course, you can erase it and change it if it's wrong. You're going to put a lot of time into the drawing to get it right. And you can draw anything you'd like as long as it's an interesting design that's well composed. Um, like I said, this project is really about design. And it's the colors that you like. Um, it's not color theory, and it's not a particular color that we're using. Um, you can use any you like. You can see the ones I laid out here. The main thing about this project is that we need to leave spaces between the color that are going to become black. This is an example that I did last year. And this is supposed to look like a stained glass window. So it's got a lizard, and then I intentionally left spaces in between the color that were white that became black later. This is an imitation of a stained glass window. This is an imitation of a mosaic, tile mosaic, same idea. So you don't have to do that, but those are ideas you can have. This is another thing closer to what I'm going to do today, which is a woodblock print imitation. As you can see, there are black spaces in between and on the edges. So let me continue with this demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color the spaces in, leaving some of the spaces blank. So that's the next step. Okay, so you can see that um, I'm filling in the colors on my drawing. Now there's a lot of white all around here. What I'm going to do is put a background in, but I'm going to leave a gap between. I'm going to make this light brown. Lighter colors, by the way, are better than dark colors. So instead of using a dark brown, I'll use a light brown. It shows up better. Also, don't use a black 
oil pastel. We have them, but don't use them because we're using black watercolor, black ink. So try not to use dark colors, dark blue, dark gray, dark, um, use lighter colors. So let me just give you a quick example of I'm gonna go in here and do the background with this color and see how I'm not touching the edge. I'm giving it a gap. That'll become black, I promise. We'll see in just a minute. The ink stage, the, when you put the black in, it takes less than a minute. You're going to be spending time making a good drawing and doing this part of it. Be patient and do a real nice setup. And the more time you spend doing this, the better it'll come out at the end. So I'm just going to do a little bit more. And then... Okay, so... This is my finished drawing. This is the fun step. You take the uh, either the ink or the watercolor, doesn't matter which, and you can put this on with a paper towel, you can use a sponge brush, or you can use a sponge like you wash dishes with too. And all you need to do is put the ink on, and move it around. And the ink will go where the oil pastel is not. And don't worry about having too much ink on there because it won't go wherever the oil pastel is. If the oil pastel is on there, it won't go. So you can soak it in the bathtub and it still wouldn't go. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up in just a minute. Sponge brushes are great, but if you don't have one, you can use paper top. Or a sponge that you, like I say, you wash dishes with. Make sure it's clean. So, make sure I don't miss any spots. leave any white paper white. That's the rule. So when you guys do your homework, if you need to, you can go over it again. Let me just for fun put some more on there. Don't really need it, but you can see where. See how the uh, oil pastel resists the black. And this will dry in a few minutes. Get a little too much on there, what you can do is wad up some paper towels and you can take the excess off. You got to be careful though, see how it's lifting off the dark here? So sometimes it's better just let it dry. Don't worry about taking it off too much. If you get excess, you can sometimes make your uh, sponge brush a little drier. It's tricky because you don't want to get it lifted out, but if you put in too much, it'll Okay, so this is kind of work, but I can show you the finished product. Not a masterpiece, but I think you guys get the idea. And so, what we're going to do for homework is two of these. Any style you want, any design you want, put time into the design. And if it doesn't work well, just do another one. you got four sheets of watercolor paper, so you need to have two good designs. 